Welcome to another edition of Music as Sanctuary at St. Andrew's Church. Uh, what a joy today to have Amanda and Sarah with us and our old friend Andrew Ager, who's going to be accompanying them on the piano. We've seen a lot of Andrew recently, which is just always a great thing. Andrew uh, has asked me just to remind you of the forthcoming operatic production that is through the auspices of New Opera Lyra. The Great, Gats Great Gatsby happens on the 19th and 20th of this month at Rideau Park United Church. Andrew's brand new opera, fantastic cast. I'll be conducting the band. You just couldn't ask for more. So it's going to be happening there and Oh, sorry, it's at Southminster United Church. Yes, sorry about that. Some publicist I am. Southminster United Church. There's flyers and stuff like that that you can pick up if you are interested. Highly recommended. Um, great news for people who watch these concerts online, as a number of people do. So every week, uh, we see that there are sometimes as many as 100 views of these shows, and that means that there's a lot of folks out there uh, supporting us in spirit, which is great. We appreciate it. We're so fortunate to have Ken here, who offers that great gift of putting this music online. So, awesome. But not only are you now able to spiritually support us, you're able to financially support us as well. As you know, this concert series exists through the providence of attendees who, you know, offer us donations, and we're really, really grateful for those. There's no, there's no big money tree out there that the church owns that, that finances these concerts. It all comes from the generosity of our attendees. And for the last two years, our online attendees um, haven't had any way to give. Well, that's all changed. Now we've got a QR code set up so that you can, you know, credit, debit, whatever you can go and you can go into that code and you can support our work. The money goes directly to the artists. Um, and our mandate with the church is that we're rev revenue neutral uh, every year. And uh, that's a challenge at times to, to come up to that particular standard that we've set for ourselves. So we are grateful for um, whatever attendees feel like providing. The concerts, of course, are free. The soup is free, which follows. I'm on the soup today, so you know it's going to be particularly fantastic. And I know that you're going to want to change, uh, change from concert mode to eating mode as soon as the music's finished through that door right turn down the hallway, and I'll be waiting to give you this fantastic spring soup, which is a ham-based soup, tarragon, spinach, peas, leeks, and of course, my favorite soup ingredient of all, fennel. So it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, see folks there and to welcome you. Next week, baritone Norman Brown, pianist Frederick Lacroix, and a couple of colleagues of theirs are going to be presenting the four serious songs of Brahms amongst other pieces. So that's happening next Tuesday afternoon at 12.10. And our series will continue until the end of June. So you've got the bios of both artists today, and um, the artists are going to speak a little bit about the music as well as the concert goes on. Um, but this is a fantastic opportunity for us to hear you guys and uh, benefit from your beautiful music making. So thank you so much for being with us, and we're really looking forward to the concert. Please welcome Amanda and Sarah and Andrew.
Fantasy Pastoral by Eugene Botza, and I'd like to invite Amanda up to play some Bach for you all.
That needs a little bit of prefacing. Um, so this is a piece of music called Hall of Ghosts. Uh, it's written for solo piccolo, uh, which is maybe not what you think of as um, a solo instrument. Um, but uh, in this piece, um, which was written in April of 2020, um, Amanda Harburg is trying to like evoke the feeling of like the spirits inside a big empty church um, based on a video of somebody playing the piccolo alone during the pandemic in a giant church while doing a recording project. Um, and also she's attempting to make a case, which I think is fairly strong, uh, for the piccolo as a cool solo instrument. So I hope that I assist her case.
the final piece that I'll be playing today is the first movement of the Vaughn Williams Oboe Concerto. It's very wide open spaces and open fields, so I hope you enjoy.
last piece that I will play by myself uh, before Sarah comes back up and we play a little something together. Um, this is a piece called the Grand Polonaise by Theobald Boehm. If you're a flute player, you might know that Boehm was the person who like made the modern flute what it is. Um, before this, you know, we played wooden flutes with sort of non-standardized mechanisms. Um, and in the late 1800s, he figured this out um, and we still play it now. So uh, what he clearly was trying to do in this piece was show what his new flute could do. Um, so he sort of aims to show off what, what, uh, what his, his new flute could do.
composer, but also an actress and mime, which is kind of iconic, but <laughs> um, yeah, and we are so thankful that you guys were able to join us today. We'd also like to thank our friends Andrew for playing all of these songs. <laughs>
Sukti. And thank you all for supporting Music as Sanctuary at St. Andrews. Please, if you can, join us for soup. The curry room, a beautiful spring soup, is being offered today. And remember, next Tuesday, this sanctuary will be graced with the performance of baritone Norman Brown. So join us, if you can, in person or online. Until we see you again, listen to the music. Thank you.